Hey guys, Paradoxio here. Welcome back to a brand new video, everybody. This is part 20 of our Making a Discord Bot in Python series. And in today's video, I am going to show you all how we can implement a word filter system for our Discord Bot. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically what I am uh, talking about here is implementing a system for our Discord Bot that can detect any bad words that a user sends into the server and uh, basically if the bot finds a word that uh, was said it'll delete that message and maybe send a message saying that they cannot say that word and uh, yeah so that's what we're going to be doing today and before we get into uh, coding I want to uh, thank you all for 300 subscribers you guys are so awesome thank you guys so much and another thing I want to say is that uh, this video is in a partnership with Chaotic Destiny Hosting. Now, uh, Chaotic Destiny Hosting is a Discord bot hosting platform. However, they also do have services for Minecraft servers and web hosting servers. So uh, it's not only just for Discord bots. However, I imagine that is what you guys will probably be more interested in if you have been watching this series for a while now. But anyways... Um... Their prices start at 49 cents USD, which equates to around 0.46 euros, or 0.46 euros, so it's very cheap. Um, it's honestly probably the cheapest uh, Discord bot hosting platform I have ever seen, and uh, it's very good too, so even for that price, you get almost no downtime unless you're updating something, and not only that... You guys also have full control over your panel and over how your bot runs and um, you get almost no latency. Well, I shouldn't say almost no latency. You get around 60 milliseconds of ping. However, that is very good, very fast. And uh, your bot will run 24 seven, even when your PC is shut off. So again, I recommend you guys check this service out. Link will be in my description. And an even better thing on top of the very cheap price is you can save 10% on your next order using code PARADOXIAL with a capital P. So again, want to save 10% on your already very cheap order, just use that code. Link will be in the description, I definitely recommend you guys check them out. But anyways, let's get back to actually coding our uh, system here. So what we are going to do is we are going to type in an event here, so we're going to type in at client event and then we are going to make this an on message event so let's sync the on message we want to pass in message just like that and we're going to write pass for now because we need to make the list of our banned words that we do not want to be said and to do this we are just going to type in band underscore words and we're going to set it equal to a list data type as you can see when i hover over it is a list and then inside my list, we are going to pass in all the words that we want to be banned. So obviously I'm not going to use real curse words because, you know, it's YouTube. I kind of can't do that. So I'm just going to type in heck. And then for the next one, it's going to be stupid. And then for the last one, I'm going to put fat. Because, I mean, those words could be offensive depending on how you see them. But uh, basically the reason why I'm typing these in and showing you right now is because we need to have all these words in capitalized letters. It cannot be lowercase or mixed cases like this. It needs to be all uppercase. And uh, you'll see why here soon, guys. But anyways, after we have our list, and of course you can use a JSON file to store all of your uh, banned words, especially if uh, the banned words are server unique or you can use a text file as well if you don't want to leave them in your python file but anyways whatever after you get your banned words what we are going to do is we're going to type in a for loop so for word in banned words and then we're going to type in a conditional so if word in message dot contents dot lower or word in message dot content upper just like that and then we are going to type in await message dot delete 
And then await message dot channel dot send. It's gonna be an F string. And then we are going to ping the author of the message. So message dot author. Just like that. Actually we need to mention them, so we need to type in dot mention at the end of that. And then we are going to type in you cannot say that word. And uh, that's really it. So, of course, this last line is optional. However, most bots will send a message if they detect a bad word. But anyways, let's go ahead and run our bot now. And uh, we shouldn't get any errors, but it's always a good idea to check, guys. It's just good practice. So we are good to go. And if I go to my server, as you can see, my bot is online. So let's go ahead and just say, hey, guys, how's everyone doing? And as you can see, it works. Now let's try to say, hey, stupid, since I believe that's one of our words. Yep, hey, stupid. So if I go ahead and say that, as you can see, it deletes the message and it says, at paradoxical, you cannot say that word. Now, you're probably wondering, well, what if you just mix up the cases? Well, the bot can also detect that too. And that is why we made it all uppercase, and then we use the lower and upper methods at the end of our message.content callbacks. And because that allows the bot to detect uh, the word no matter how it's capitalized or lowercase or what letters are and aren't Kate uppercase or whatever so no basically no matter how the user types it it will be detected and it will be deleted unless they are using some special font that they are typing in or any kind of unicode if they are doing that then i apologize the bots will not be able to detect it but uh anyways i want to try this on some other words so fat and then heck and as you can see it deletes those as well so, basically, it just tries to detect any word uh, in the message that uh, comes from this list here. And if it does, it'll delete the message and uh, send a message saying that they cannot say that. Oh, whoops. But uh, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is a pretty short video today. But uh, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed, be sure to subscribe. And if you... Um, need help with any of your code or if you ran into any problems or if you just simply want to hang out with me and over 200 other people be sure to join my discord server we are growing every single day i think right now we are at around 240 members so go ahead and join our server guys the link will be in the description and again if you enjoyed be sure to hit that subscribe button let me know in the comments how your day was and leave a like on the video and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye